Hi guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. So we are in Sudeki, and we are at the village of the Shadani. Um, it's over here. Oh, Kamos. Welcome to Kamos. Come back. Yeah, nothing I'm going to get right now. Anything down here? Huh? Something. Oh, nifty. Only Pookie may enter. Okay. Well, let's go see the Shadani people. Well, okay then. Um, I'm not gonna do a ton of exploring right now. We'll do a little looking around for easy stuff to access. But I don't know if you've noticed this, but on my map in the upper left-hand corner there, uh, where the white arrow is on the outside ring, that's the compass telling me where I need to go for the next like part of the quest line. And there's not really side quests in this game. Um, I guess I need to go here. The closest we really get to a side quest, I think, are the um, different totems. What do we have here? Interesting, interesting. Doesn't appear I can do anything at the moment. I think I need to be Tal or somebody possibly stronger than her to move those around. So I guess this isn't where I was supposed to go. Okay then. Guess this way. Halt! No one is allowed access into the holy grounds without permission from the chief, Karak Law. Okay, now we need to go find the chief dude. Um, I'm gonna take a guess and say the giant red banner is a clue. Welcome. We are all grateful that Illumina oh, has finally heard our or call. Pretending you is a great honor indeed, Princess. Your friends are already at the temple entrance with Buki. Take this spear as a sign that you are welcome to fight alongside our warriors in the temple. Cool. All right. That's good enough. Halt! 
Do you have Karak's blessing to enter the temple? Ah, you carry his hunting spear as a sign of his blessing. Then may the gods look upon you with favor. Climb this? Let's see what's up here. It's a very weird way to climb a ladder. That did not seem practical at all. Kind of like her clothes. You are welcome to fight alongside me. I will need help against the guardians of the temple, for they have turned against us. The crystal must be kept safe, but you still have much to prove before I will allow the crystal to be taken back to Illumina. That is why we are here, to help. We need the crystal safe, and the castle is, I assure you, the safest place to keep it. There you are, Tal. I've been looking everywhere for you. What are you doing here? I came to help. On your own? Yes, on my own. So what's the plan? I like how nobody don't mentions to argue with you, Ailish. Just go home. How please Tal and Ailish sorry, have Ailish, uh, you, are the you know meta demigod. <laughs> it's too dangerous. It's for your own good. What if something happens to you? It might just as easily happen to me on the way back to the castle. A young princess, sent into the unknown by a member of the elite guard and the trusted science officer. Now that would not look good in front of the queen, would it? I have work to do. So it's a lose-lose. You are the soldier, Tal. If Ailish stays, then she's your responsibility. Excuse me, your highness. Wait, I haven't told you the plan. Elko and Buki are going to secure the top half of the temple, which means we get to clear the ground floor. Okay. Into the temple. Pretty nice as temples go. Definitely has the Legends of the Hidden Temple vibe, for those of you who remember that TV show from the 90s. Alright. Now we have spiders. Lots of them. These guys haven't been too bad yet. I think the Scarecrow fight in the uh, last episode was a harder one. Of course I say that now, but then again I did just walk into this temple, so it would be bad game design to hit me with the hardest thing I had as soon as I walk in, I think.
are there magically hidden objects? Oh, hey, look at that, there is. Don't know what it is, though. No idea what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh, I see. Okay, so we push the green one where it goes, and we're gonna pull this one. We'll push it over, apparently. And it goes there. And we'll push this one up. In the middle. Okay, two doorways. Let's, I guess, go to this one first. Save. good to know about. Always got to appreciate a good healing fountain. Anything? Oh, I need Buki or Elko, I think, to go up there. Good stuff to sell. Okay then. Alright. Well, I guess that's all I can do there for the moment. Let's see what's this way. Oh. Giant chamber. Must mean combat. I do not think I have enough antidotes. Take back what I said about <laughs> not being difficult. Oh. Good slow finally wore off.
I'll stain the floor with your insides. I forget I have these moves sometimes. I go up now. Eagle chamber. Okay. Oh, I think I get it. I think I have to make the colors on those platforms. So let's see, blue. And yellow. Make green. room apparently so okay all right I guess we'll try the the purple mixture Fortuitous that I picked the green one first. Oh, do I get to play as them now? Sweet. Alright, Elko and Buki. And I believe Elko is a ranged character if memory serves. She can climb.
he go up these? I don't think he can. No. Well, okay then. Didn't know that did that, but that works. He fell prey to the spiders. Okay, All right here we go. First taste of combat with these two. Let's see how that goes. Of course, I get hit with slow right off the bat. Check out Elka. Not particularly powerful, as it turns out. Does he have a different weapon? You feel lucky, punk? Statistically, your chances are not good. Well, that was kind of cool. Well, that works. I like that gun. It has a long recharge time. Well, alright then. Let's heal up. And I'm out of healing potions. Awesome. This dungeon reminds me of something, but I'm having like another game, but I'm having a hard time placing it. level. Man, Buki's pretty good. I like her. She's got a good uh, flow to her combat. A little easier, maybe, than Tal, which I'm not sure that that's actually accurate, but uh, she feels a little easier to, I guess, play in combat than he is. that. Okay. Okay, looks like 
so I need to use Elko on the gold crystal. Drains down over time. Wow. I wonder what happens if I got to the other side and was out. Can we have it over here? Okay, I see just a staircase up. That's all. Okay then. I'm moving right along. And I think we need to go in here. Hoping to get some more weapons soon. What do we get for our trouble and strife? More of a power. Increase for her. Oop, save point. I don't know how much more is left of this uh, particular dungeon. Oh, now we're dealing with uh, look like some kind of anthro insect creature. Arcanites, I guess. Since I got a skull for killing one, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's what I'm fighting here. This is the guy I need to kill, because he's summoning others. episode may end up being a little bit long because, uh, again, I don't know how far I am from the end. Hopefully not too far. Oh, the door has locked behind me. Well, okay then. Uh, okay, Elko, you're up. This crystal looks like shoot across the chamber. Sorry, I talk to myself a lot when playing, which works out since I'm, you know, doing this channel and all, but uh, in any other situation, I would just be crazy. I guess. And while her outfit isn't, like, practical for combat, and I know it's going to get worse because that's the way these games go, um, at least she's more in, like, a, almost like what modern women wear for, like, going to work out in the gym, you know, where they're wearing workout shorts and, like, a sports bra. And that seem, this seems a little more normal uh, as opposed to Halish's outfit. 
but I, I know for a fact it gets worse because I've seen screenshots of her character later in game, and I, I know it's going to get more risque. All right. And I'm only doing this just because I need health potions and stuff to get where I gotta go. The long gallery. Well, if this just doesn't scream combat. Nice! We're just gonna go for the leader right off the bat. Which may actually end up being my undoing. <laughs> yep. That was effective. He can teleport? Really? Come on. Guess that was the equivalent of the mini boss. Well, those soul powers really come in handy, don't they? It's got to go on top of that. Hey, look at that. used. Is that it? 
No, oh, are you kidding me? Uh, of course, it's a puzzle. It would be a puzzle. Let's see. Put that there. Yeah, we're gonna pull this over. And I think, I think you have to go over here on this one. Yep. Yep, I see what I gotta do. Of course. And these two have to switch places. kind of impressed with whoever designed these intricate puzzles for this temple, you know. And I'm not talking about game designers, I'm talking about in the Sudeki world. Well done. Like, knowing that you would need to put those in the right place to create flame because spiders would inevitably create a web over an area. Like, that's, that's some forethought by these builders. Well done. I mean, what if that web hadn't been there? What if there was like a tribe of people standing right there? Okay, we're gonna test this. Let's get them all in the right place. And then you just cook everybody alive. This is gonna be a long episode. I do apologize, but we're already into it. So you know what? Why not go a little further? Be very quiet. There you are. <laughs> Am I glad to see you two again? Buki's just indifferent. <laughs> Through this door lies the Shadani Crystal. It is guarded by Gara, Queen of Spiders, an ancient ally of the Shadani people. Since the arrival of the Lightspawn, Gara has been driven to the edge of insanity. Now her children hunt us down, and she will fight until the last to protect the crystal. That's kind of what you want of a guardian of a crystal, though. No. Gara is as much a Shadani warrior as I am. She has lived alongside us for so long that I cannot allow her to die at the hands of strangers. I will face Gara alone. When she is laid to rest, you can claim the Shadani crystal and return it to the safety of the castle. But it will remain the property of the Shadani I wonder people. how old Buki is. That is madness, Buki. We came here to help you. And is it in cat years or people then years? Then you must respect my beliefs. I am as much from the world of animals as you are from that of men. This is our way. Gara will die mercifully at my hand. May Mo be with you. Certainly. Yeah. And for any of my audience that suffers from arachnophobia, I do apologize. I will try to make this quick. Oh. Okay then. Be that way. This is cool. I wonder how much damage that actually did. Practically none at all. That is good to know. Hmm. What am I doing wrong in this fight? Into something. 
fairly popular uh, theme in a lot of games. So I guess I'll stand over here and get her to come to me. Come on. Come on. Let's see what this does now that she's vulnerable. Got her down about half. That's not bad. Let's see what else we can do here. Um, usually, about this point, they change up tactics. Yep. Things get a little different. When the battle and the following cutscene is over, I'll uh, end this episode. Thank you for sticking with me through it. Finish her off. The ground just moved in. Hey guys, would this have anything to do with uh -oh. that? Just, just curious. Look out, there's more coming. We really don't need this again. Oh, out, everyone. Let's just get out of here. This way, we can. Not cooked yet. I hope you've got a head for heights because the only way is up. Well, okay then. Uh, guys? Guys? Where did, where did... Well, okay then. New villain? Absolutely amazing! We 
We were there, and then... We... Now we're... here. This doesn't look like Illumina to me. I know this place. We are in the Realm of Shadows, where Mo was to lead my ancestors to safety. It's just as it was described in the scriptures. I am blessed, for now I truly walk in heaven. Okay, her bit of dialogue is the only part that mattered so far. I don't know about heaven, but I simply must investigate. There's a path up ahead. Let's see if we can get our bearings. Well, okay then. Um, oh, here we go. Should be a, a safe point somewhere, I think. I hope. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what. Uh, I'm gonna find a safe point and uh, let's see. Oh, is there one up here? Maybe. Maybe. Anybody? Safe point. Be awesome. You know, save my progress. So I don't have to do all that again. Am I the only one who finds it really messed up? This is her idea of heaven. <laughs> Which I mean, you know, no, no, no judging, not to be xenophobic or anything here, but um, I guess maybe if I were a warrior cat person, that's how I would feel. Yeah, not 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 heaven in my eyes. Sorry. Oh, save point. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna save, and I will see you guys next episode. Uh, thanks for hanging through. This was a long one, uh, but now we are we left the temple of Mo, and now we are in the Shadowlands, I guess, or somewhere like that. Anyway, thanks, guys. Bye.